Hello everyone, welcome to today's phonics lesson. To help us with our learning today, we're going to need some resources. We're going to need some lined paper and a pencil. Can you pause the video and go and get the things that you need? Then click play when you're ready. Let's begin. We're going to start by practicing our letter names. And to do that, we're going to sing an alphabet song. The alphabet song that we're going to sing today is Bob the Builder. Can you sing along with me? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, and W, X, Y, Z. Great effort, everybody. Can you see that some of the letters have been circled? The first one is the letter A. Can you tell me the letter name for the others? The first one is K. The next one is P. And the last one is the letter Y. We are going to look at some common exception words now. These are words that we write a lot and we also read a lot in our books. They have some phonic clues, but they do also have some tricky parts. Can you read the words? Remember, if you need a little bit more thinking time, you can pause the video and click play when you're ready. Great effort. We are going to go through our sounds now. I'm going to show you a graphing, a letter written down, and I would like you to tell me the phoning, the sound that it makes. Can you show me the actions as well? This is a digraph, but this digraph actually makes two different sounds. It makes sh and z. Make sure your tongue is sticking out. This digraph makes two sounds as well. It makes the phoneme uh and the phoneme oo. This is a challenging one. I like to remember this one by saying you're hard to say. So this must be the trigraph you're. We've already learned all of our three phase three sounds, haven't we? So we're mastering them now. 
Would you like to see which one we're mastering today? Can you remember the phoning, the sound for this graphing? Yes, it's j, isn't it? Remember, we wiggle our hands, don't we? And we wobble like jelly on a plate. Can you think of any words with the phoneme j in them? Pause the video and have some time to think of some words. Did you think of any? I thought of the word juggle, j a g l juggle, and the word jump, j a m p jump. Did you think of those words too? I wonder if the phoneme j was at the beginning of your words that you thought of as well. We are ready to practice writing this graphing now. This is a long ladder letter. Can you see how long it is? It even goes down and under the line. Can you see the green dot? That's where we start this letter. Let's put our fingers on the green dot. Are you ready? We're going to move our finger from the green dot down under the line and flick. Take your pen off and then dot at the top. Shall we practice on your paper? Okay, put your piece of your pencil in the middle of two of your lines. Okay, just like the green dot is on the board. Work with me, we're going to go down with our pencil, under the line and flick. Take your pencil off of the page and dot at the top. Why don't you pause this video and see if you can spend one minute writing some expert J's. Remember, they need to start in the right place and go under the line. These are descenders, aren't they? We are ready to read some words that have the letter J in them now. Can you see the word at the top? I've got some sound buttons there to help you. What's that you can see at the end of the word? Yes, it's a digraph. Okay, let's read it together. J, A, Z, Jazz. Jazz, jazz is a type of music. Let's look at the next word. Oh, I have spotted something a little bit different about this word. It does have a J in it, but can you see? It looks a little bit different. That's because this is somebody's name. So this J is a capital J. It's an uppercase letter. I bet you could still read it though, couldn't you? Do you want to work with me? J, I, O, Jill. And the word is Jill. Do you know anybody called Jill? The last word is a polysyllabic word. There are two syllables in this word. Let's read the first part of the word and blend it. And then we'll sound out the rest and blend that. J, E, T, Jet, L, A, G, Lag. Let's put it together. Jet, Lag, Jet, Lag. The word is jet lag. Have you ever heard that word before? Jet lag is when you are extremely tired after a long flight and a change in time zone. We are ready to write some j words now. Can you see that tasty picture at the top? That is a pot of... Yes! Jam. We're going to stretch out the word jam so that we can hear all of the phonemes, all of the sounds in the word. Stretch it out with me. J, A, M, jam. Let's put that word on our phoneme fingers. J, A, M, jam. Are you holding up three fingers? Can you write down all of those sounds? I'm going to give you just five more seconds.
If you're not quite finished, remember you can pause the video before we continue. The next word I would like you to have a go at writing is the word jog. Remember, we must stretch it out first. Can you stretch it out with me? J -o -g. J-O-G. Jog. Can you put it on your phoning fingers yourselves this time? How many phonemes were there? Can you write them down? Now the last picture is a picture of a jet. Can you stretch out this word all by yourselves and put it on your phoneme fingers before you write it down? The word jet. If you've finished, keep playing the video and we'll have a look at the answers. Can you go through your words on your piece of paper and can you tick them or fix them? We are going to apply all of that learning now and we are going to write an expert sentence. Can you see this funny picture? Well, the sentence that we're going to write is Can he jog in the thick jam? Repeat after me. Can he jog in the thick jam? Your turn. My turn. Can he jog in the thick jam? Your turn. My turn. Can he jog in the thick jam? Seven words. Your turn. Can you pause the video and write it down? I bet you can even remember your capital letter at the beginning of your sentence and your finger spaces before, between all of the words. Can he jog in the thick jam? It's time to tick or fix your writing now. So look at this sentence and look at yours. Can you edit and improve anything? Today, you have worked really hard with me to master the sound J. Well done, everybody.